Welcome to this CapCut for Beginners tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you add static and dynamic text to your video, as well as auto caption. So now your basic edit is in place and it's time to spice up things. Maybe you want to add some text. Let's say that uh, you want to describe uh, this fortress, what it is. So let's just zoom in here so we get this clip selected. And the way that you're going to do that is you go to the top menu here and you simply select text. And here you will have an option that's called default text. If you press the plus here, you would have this bar jumping in next to the playhead. And you can shorten it up and you can do it in the length that you want. So it fits your needs by simply pulling it in one end like this. And now you can go in here and you can correct the text. And we want this to be called Tre Kroner for, for the, uh, Fortress. And we can position it maybe here in this way. And I can do all the basic modifications by selecting uh, this uh, title clip, uh, gaining access to the clip properties. So let's say that, yeah, maybe it's not so pretty, but let's <laughs> just select this one so you oh. can see. So now I've added some static text to one of oh. the clips, but you can extend it or move the text. So it basically extends into the next clip if you prefer that. Maybe this kind of static text is a little bit boring and you want to add some uh, yeah, animated fonts or something that makes it uh, spice it up a little bit. There's a lot of possibilities to do that. You simply just go down to the text template option here. You see there's a lot of stuff here and you can select all sorts of different ways of, uh, of adding text. And the technique is uh, exactly the same. You might need to download uh, the option that you, you want to use, but let's just for the sake of it uh, try this minimalistic one. So see this one animates a text across uh, that screen. So we again, we go in here and we say TR Krona for TR Fortress. I think that was correct. Put it in the right length here. And uh, we want it to appear here in the lower part of the screen, maybe a little bit here to the side. So it would look something like this. So, you see, that's very easy and you have a lot of options that's included uh, with the software. Again, by selecting the text overlay, you gain access to all the properties for the text so you can modify it to your likings. There's also um, the caption option. That's a really, really strong one. Really, really powerful one. That's where they can do some really magic stuff uh, that you would appreciate because it can actually do auto captions. So if I go in here and I say add captions there, so I, uh, I can select the different languages there. So I select English and I do generate. And now it's thinking a little bit. So it's generating for the clip that I selected. So see. All of that is super nice. The problem is that the wind direction is uh, basically. So now I'm getting a <laughs> subtitles directly on uh, my video just by the click of a single button. It's not perfect because I'm not a native English speaker, so it actually misses some of the words in between, but it's very, very easy. You just select the headline here and then you can go in and you can correct whatever words has been spoken wrong. So that's super nice. We can also modify, oh, that is so modify the headline here so or the subtitle so we get some oh, of these popular nice. fonts. The problem is that the wind direction that you have been seeing if you have been watching social media where they sort of subtitle the videos by using a, something that makes the video really stand out. That's a super nice feature. The lesson that you just watched is part of a full tutorial that covers end to end the workflow from you importing the footage, exporting it into a final video. If you want to watch the full tutorial in one go, you can access it through this card. Or you can watch the individual topics through the playlist below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.